Hey, it's Eric. I've been uh, doing some research lately and uh, working on designing my own magnetic deflection coils for a cathode ray tube. Along the way, I learned something interesting that I thought I would share with you guys. So I have a little circuit here that drives the deflection coil. It's basically just an audio amplifier chip, except instead of driving the voltage, it drives the current. That is because the magnetic field depends on the current in the coil rather than the voltage across the coil. When I got everything wired up, I noticed that there was some very unusual distortion on the display. So it turns out that looking at it on the oscilloscope, the current waveform has a lot of overshoot and ringing. The reason is that the deflection coil acts like an inductor, and there's enough of a parasitic capacitance in there that it turns it into a tuned LC circuit, and that explains the ringing that I'm seeing in there. So the question is, how to fix that? The easiest way to fix it is to connect an RC snubber network in parallel with the coil. Now, of course, there's a way to go and calculate the formulas and figure out the required component values, but I found that it's much easier just to build a little cheater box and uh, wire that into the circuit and experiment with some different values. And so here you can see in the oscilloscope that I've got everything connected. I've got a square wave coming in. You can see the overshoot, and then as I adjust the capacitance and the series resistance, you can see the frequency change and the damping factor as well. And at this point, I've just about got it compensated. After soldering the appropriate components on the amplifier board, the display looks much better.